Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. So for today's video, I'm just doing another little first impressions with another alter ego palette. I know I just did one recently with the Daydream palette, but this one was waiting for me to play with. And I have a date tonight because it's my anniversary. So the temptress it is. This is the dupe for the Anastasia Sultry palette. Now the layout isn't exactly the same and I don't own the Sultry palette so I can't do an actual side-by-side -side comparison with swatches or anything, but just based on what the shades look like, if you rearrange them, it's pretty much the same palette. I think it's really pretty. The Sultry is one that I wanted, mostly just because at that point I'd collected pretty much all of the Anastasia palette, so I wanted it mostly for that reason, but I also wanted it just because of the shade Bloom that's in the Anastasia palette, and here it's called Blush, and I also was really into the silver in that palette. I don't know why those two shades called to me so much, but they did. And I'm super happy that Alter Ego sent me this one to play with. Thank you so much, Alter Ego. I appreciate it very much. They did not pay me to make this video. It's not sponsored or anything. I'm doing it on my own free will. And I also have a code, Butte Bean, if you want to save some money on their site. And it's not affiliated. I do not make a commission. It's just there in case you want it. But this palette's only $16, whereas the Anastasia one is probably $45, I believe is what those ones run. And that's a heck of a deal. I love the look that I came up with with this. I like the shimmers in this palette. Obviously, it's a neutral palette. It's very neutral, very not my my zone, but I love the shimmers and I love this shade right here. I also really could probably get down with this shade because that looks like it could be a really pretty grungy brown color. And this slate gray looks really cool too. I don't know, there's elements of this palette that I really like and I feel like you could create some really pretty glamorous looks with it. And also if you're just someone that is into neutrals and you wanted the sultry palette but didn't want to shell out the $45, maybe this one is a good one for you. Who knows? We're going to create this look together and then I will talk more about my thoughts about the palette at the end of the video. Also, I changed my hair again. It's a little bit more red. My roots are done. No more dark roots. For this color, I used All Pulp Riot. I used a tube of lava, half a tube of candy, and I think about half a tube of Countess is what I think I used. I just kind of concocted something. I was going for, I don't know, a hybrid between a pink and a red, and I really like it. I feel like a candy apple. Let's just move on to the look now. All right, so my eye is already primed with my Sigma eyeshadow base in Ignite, and we're gonna create a look while I drop everything. I know that I want to use blush because it's obviously the only pop of color in this palette, so I know I'm gonna use this. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and pop it in the crease. Why not? This is a Luxie 229 tapered blending brush. I'm just going to just kind of stamp this all in my crease just to get a good cute blushy foundation. Oh my gosh, this would be a cute blush. Why did I not try that today? That would be adorable. I think I'm going to go ahead and start smoking this out underneath the lower lash as well. This shade is so pretty and it's so pigmented and it blends so nice. I love it. I would literally just smear this shade all over my eye and call it a day. It's so cute. This kind of color is actually one of my favorite colors to wear on my lips. Or at least it used to be. I don't know if I wear these kinds of colors anymore, but it definitely used to be. Like Rose Matter from Jeffree Star, that used to be my number one for a hot minute there. So I know this isn't perfectly blended around the edges. I will get to blending it out more in a bit. But for now, I'm going to go in with Stiletto, and I'm going to use a small brush. This is a Morphe M506. And I'm just going to start packing this in the outer corner and then working it through the crease. And I'm not really going to blend this shade. I'm literally just going to pack it down, and then I will go back in and blend it out in a minute. And I'm using light motions, light pressure as I am running this through the crease. I don't want this to go too crazy. Just trying to add some depth and drama because I'm going on a date. It is Zane and I's anniversary. Six years together today on the 23rd. I think it's the 24th when this is going up, provided I get this edited before I have to pick Zane up for our date when he gets off work. Because otherwise I am not stressing about editing tonight. I'm gonna start running this on that lower lash as well, of course, for some smokes. And now I'm gonna dip back into blush a little bit and I'm just going to, with light pressure, I'm not 
going in too hard or heavy. I'm just going to start lightly swirling and blending until I have a nice gradient between black to blush. I don't even know what we're doing tonight. Zane and I share money, so it's hard to buy presents for each other because it all comes from the same place. So usually I just tell him to pick a place and don't tell me, so it can be a surprise. But I don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere for dinner and dessert. Something simple. I know our present to ourselves is going to be a new mattress. We desperately want one. We want to get one of those mattresses from one of the mattress companies online where they deliver it to you, like those mattress in a box companies. I think we're looking at Tuft and Needle, but if any of you have purchased any of those mattress in a box things, then let me know because I want to know your experience and how you feel about your mattress. I like because they all have a, a guarantee so you can return it if you don't like it, but don't want to go through the effort of shipping it back or anything. I'm going to take another kind of fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of mix this one called Lace with Blush just to get a lighter shade on that brush just to really blend in this very upper portion as it gets towards my brow and my skin and things like that. Everything is behaving quite nicely though. I like the way this foundation looks. I think it's pretty. So I'm definitely gonna do a half cut crease, but I think I'm just gonna use glitter glue because typically these shimmers from what I've seen in the Goddess palette and in the Daydream palette are phenomenal. So I'm sure these will be as well. I think I want Sterling to go right up against the cut crease and then as I get to the bottom half of the lid, I think I wanna do Ritz. I don't know, something about the mix of textures and metals, it sounds really pretty and I like, I have this, I don't know, I have a vibe going on in my mind that I want to try to go with. So I have this flat brush from ColourPop, it's an E8. I'm gonna take some of my NYX Glitter Primer and pop it right on that brush. And I'm just going to start smearing this all around my lid and I'm gonna go through and kind of place it like this as if I was cutting it with concealer so that I can, I don't know, just be defined about it. I don't know if that step makes a difference, honestly, but it, it works for me. I'm dipping into Sterling first, which is that silver. Ooh, look how shiny. And that's just gonna go right up against it. Holy, holy cow! I'm so astounded by Alter Ego Shimmers. I know so far they only have the three palettes and they're all neutral palettes, so they aren't going to appeal to most of us colorful lovers. But let me tell you, these shimmers are just so unreal. Like, that's usually the effect I get from a liquid glitter eyeshadow, not just a shimmer. And from an affordable dupe brand. Like, I don't want to be stereotypical or anything by... Saying that, I don't know if stereotypical is the word I'm looking for. But you, I just, I never would have expected this, honestly. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to take another brush. This one's just a little bit of a packing brush, just because I don't need to be as precise anymore. Taking a little bit more glitter glue and popping that on the bottom. And I'm going to dip into Ritz now. Ooh, it's so pretty. I mean, I'm not as impressed as the silver. It's still really reflective. I just... This is just a bronze in comparison. I like the silver better. So I'm gonna just gonna kind of dip back into sterling a little bit more and then just keep flipping back and forth until I like the way they merge together. So I like doing multiple shimmers on the lid. It gives it a really cool effect. And I have some lid space, so I might as well use it, right? I'm gonna take that brush I used with the black. Very, very light pressure here and I don't have any additional product on this brush. Just lightly smudging right where they meet so it can fade nicely from black matte to silver shimmer. Oh, I like this vibe. I think this is really, really cool. What do I want to do else? I don't even know. Maybe I want a little bit more black on my lower lash line. Get it nice and smoked. A little bit more blush to blend that out. I think for my inner corner, I might do this seduction shade because that looks mighty cute. Just gonna plop that right there. It's so bright, I love it so much. What do I want in my waterline? I wish I had an eye pencil that literally matched to that blush shade. That would be ideal. Maybe I'll go with Venus from ColourPop. It kind of matches my hair. My hair's not totally red, it's kind of a pinky red. 
Oh, by the way, I changed my hair red. Maybe I'll talk about it in the intro because I forgot to talk about it. Maybe I'll go with Venus. I think that could be really cool. Let's try it. There's something about black and white animal print with red as a pop that I just really like. I don't know what it is. And I don't know why I'm suddenly into animal print, but I saw this zebra shirt on clearance at Forever 21 and I had to have it. I, I like this. I think it's pretty. It's very neutral for what like I normally go for. But man, oh man, I, I think I really like it. I think it's mighty, mighty cute. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna do the other eye, throw on my lashes, something on my lips, and we will finish this up. All right, that's it. This is the final look. What do you guys think? I feel really pretty in it. I'm ready for my date. I think it looks really good. I think Zane's gonna like it. And I just like this overall vibe put together. Obviously, I usually wear a lot more colorful looks or very grungy looks, but I think this is a really pretty, glamorous, kind of grungy-ish look. And I think it's cute. I love these shimmers across the lid. That silver is just speaking to my soul. I don't really reach for silvers too often and I've never had anything against them. I feel like I should play with them more because I love the way this looks. My lashes are these same disco lashes from Pinky Rose and on my lips I went with Merlot from Dose of Colors. It goes with my hair nicely. I, I don't know, I'm content. Alter Ego, you did it again. I think this is their first palette they came out with actually, but three out of three, I've liked every palette I've tried from them. I'm so excited to see what they come out with in the future because the quality is is quite nice, I will say. You guys saw it in action. Everything blends nicely, the pigment's there, and these shimmers are just another level. But what do you guys think of this look? If you enjoyed this first impressions, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I try to post here every day as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.